my best day of my whole life. I'm, this I'm is the free, best. And, I'm, and, uh, and it's a Veterans Day and also, and the veterans died for the freedoms of our land to be able to go to your false churches yeah. or to uh, be on the sidewalks of America and give warning to man that it is false. That's one of the great things that the Lord has done and, and even veterans. I don't care what a veteran has done or what he's doing. He died for the purpose, really, the constitutional right for the First Amendment to preach to people, tell them that they're sinners on the way to heaven. Great day. It's the best day of, this is a, actually, this is the best day of all creation because it says that the acceptable time is the day of salvation. That's what's so good about it. Even the rotten sinner, thief, robber, and murderer that's going in, which is, all of them are, that are outside the Lord, can repent. Well, how could a greater day be than that? And, uh, and plus we do a uh, plus uh, at this point I don't have to go to jail and have that awful food they see they serve you yeah. generally, generally they serve it for six hours they don't give you much yeah. they really have had a, a lot of onslaught of the police today of police well do you think these are saints here working oh, here? Yeah. either the, the Bible says we either serve the Lord Jesus Christ or serve the devil one or the other yeah. And from the Bible says, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So when a man speaks, we know what he's what he's up to. Yeah. I don't don't leave women out of that, but normally I don't exchange with women because it'll get you in trouble. Yeah. Deep, deep trouble. <laughs> so what's your name? Carl. Carl. Could, uh, Clem Clem Cadillhopper. Clem Cadillhopper. Yeah, that's a uh, Red Skeleton's uh, stage name. So what are the police here for? Oh, they they uh, okay. they call all the time because uh, your uh, First Amendment is not a, a, um, only for those that want to receive the First Amendment. Yeah. It's only for those that want to protest and burn cars and yeah. riot. Yeah, and right. That's who it's yeah, for. Yeah. I'm, protest I'm warning the people of their sin. Yeah. That's loving. It's yeah. not a pro I guess you could call it a protest, but it isn't. I believe it's preaching. That's what the Lord. He didn't say anything about protesting in the Bible. He says preach. Lift yeah. up your voice like a trumpet, and that's what we're to do. That's what we're, we're supposed to do, anyway. Anyway, the Lord's good to us all. He's good to everybody. He don't care. If the guy's getting ready to rob a bank today. He's still good to him. Yeah. He says it rains on the just and the unjust. Yeah. So after he steals and robs a, a bank, he can still go back and repent. Might have to spend some jail time. But yeah. He can repent. Yeah. And if men could only do that. Yeah. Uh, and I know they can, but if they would. It's a dead religion, friends. And dead religions that you serve when you die, you'll die in your sin. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. So that's the wages of the Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints committing. The wages of sin, the Bible says, is death. The Lord talks about death a lot. And you can go to the graveyards in America and see the dead. Now, did they all go to heaven? Probably only a few, the Bible says. Why, the Bible says, is a way of destruction, and many there go at. But narrow is a way of eternal life through Jesus Christ. It didn't say wide, it says narrow. And when you look at the path you're on today, I encourage people to look at the path they're on. Look at their feet. Either you're on the path of everlasting life, or you're on the path of destruction. That's what the Bible says in Matthew. It says, wide is the way of destruction. Friends, just because you've been told a lie doesn't make it the truth. One of the propaganda preachers of Germany's Third Reich that said enough lies, enough time, they would believe it. And that's what they did. And that's what Joseph Smith has done. He has convinced 12 million members it's the only true church. The Lord says it's a lie, a wicked lie. Seducing spirits and doctrines of devils in Timothy. Did either you serve the Lord Jesus Christ or the devil? There's no, let me use an example of what is truth is not true. Taking a child in the womb and killing it is murder. The world says it's acceptable. 
And the Church of Jesus Christ says it's acceptable. They have a category of three. Uh, three categories that you can kill your unborn child. That's what the church is up to. It's a devil church, not a saint church of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm trying to love on you people, friends. The Lord's trying to love you too. It's hard to do. It's hard to do those that are ready to commit a crime. And if you fathers take your children in there, you're committing a crime against the Lord Jesus Christ. How are you guys hey. doing? You know, oh, hey, it's you again. Yeah, How you it's me again. Matt, right? Right. Uh, no, Matt no, I'm Matt. From your face. Yeah. <laughs> what is that type of uh, contraption? That That's is a GoPro a gimbal. A Karma gimbal. It goes gimbal. with my drone and, drone and the Here, service. I'll, I'll record you two then. Oh, yeah, all right, okay, all right. Now we're recording each yeah. other. Perfect. <laughs> all right. Well, are you from Alaska? Uh, no, I oh, really you're wearing don't. Alaska yeah. British pilot hat, so I just wondered. <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah, we're just uh, trying to get some video of the protest here. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I actually went online because of our conversation. Oh, yeah, did you and see that? I put that? one on a car uh, wish list. I have a ministry, oh, and so I put gimbal. a wish list for something like that. I don't oh. particularly need it, but yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it, it makes yeah, things smoother. Doesn't it's smoother. It? I like yeah, that. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to covet it's, it's, it now. It's all. Uh, it's all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See. Gyro wear that like on their it. on their body. When yeah, they're you can run with it. And and all that yeah. stuff. It works nicely. I checked it out. All right. What's your name again? My name's Brian. Brian, and you are Anna. Anna. Alan? Anna. Anna. Okay. Yeah. Where are you from? Russia. Nice. Very cool. All right. Well. All right. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. See ya. Right. See ya. some fans oh yeah I used to have a radio show here oh and okay so I would tell people you know, I'll be out here and uh, honk and things like that so people still you know yeah. get a lot of that which, which is good Mormonism says God's from another planet that is so unbiblical that makes him an alien you bow down to an alien God Why does the Mormon church require 10% of your income before you're worthy to go into the temple? Why does your God require money? The church is a business. Did you know that? It's a huge corporation bringing in millions and millions a day in its businesses. And it charges you. You have to pay 10% of your income in order to go into the church, in order to go into the temple. To have the presence of God? Why do you have to pay money to go in there? Why is there a golden image on top of your temple? The Bible says do not make an image of the things in heaven or earth that you have bowed down to them. You bow down underneath the temple. You bow down underneath the golden image. You're believing in a false God and a false gospel. The judgment of God is upon you. Eternal damnation waits if you continue and you die in Mormonism. I don't hate Mormons, but I believe the word of God and I compare everything to God's holy word. And 
so should you. God is not an exalted man from another planet, as Mormonism teaches. God says in the Bible, he doesn't even know of any other gods. There are no gods formed after him. But in Mormonism, there's many gods. There's a god his mother. Jesus is another god. Right. Did you know that in the Bible, 1 Kings 8, 60, it says Jehovah is Elohim. Jehovah is simply the name of God, the name of Elohim. Joseph Smith invented Mormonism while he was involved in the occult, in necromancy, which is contacting the dead, in spiritism. I'm not making it up. The Mormon church has doctored your own history. The Mormon church has even changed the Book of Mormon over 4,000 places. Hey. <laughs> Fry guy, 19. Yeah, yeah. You see the video? No, I haven't yet. Oh yeah, that's how I, I call. Welcome to the house of God. No cameras allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Veterans Day. Are you a veteran? Yes, I am. As a matter of uh, fact, Vietnam? four years. No, no, I'm not that old. Were you Air Force? No, I was Navy. Maybe. Four years. Yeah. Did you get around the world at all? Uh, a little bit. Uh, Did you get to Hawaii? Guam? Yeah, I spent some time in Guam. Yeah, I love it there. Yeah, beautiful place. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, I just don't want to be in the way of those coconuts when the typhoons are going through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 